Hello there. Today I'm setting off on probably my shortest ever flight in the Arrow. I'm going just 30 miles, a couple of stops down the railway line in fact, to Headcorn, where I'm going to be meeting up with some friends of mine who've come up with a modern way to help you improve your radio telephony. Hello and welcome to The Flying Reporter. Private pilot adventures across the UK and Europe in my 1977 PA28 Arrow 3 Turbo. I'd like to think that my radio telephony is pretty sharp. Not perfect, but above average, I'd say. But it hasn't always been that way. When I was learning to fly, everything was so overwhelming as I was picking up all the new skills and it was hard enough to taxi in a straight line, let alone read back some complicated clearance over the radio. And this is part of the problem. Pilots are rarely given dedicated training in radio telephony. They're instead expected to pick it up as they go. And for a student just starting out, it can be like learning a foreign language. Call Victor, Bravo 2, ready for departure. Victor, Roger, wind 2 knots, do you want 2.5 or 0.7? 0.7, uh, go for you, Victor. Roger, backtrack, line up, Gulfstream Railway Station, not above 1,400 feet. Backtrack, line up, runway 07, Gulfstream Railway Station, departure not above altitude, 1,400 feet. Go for Bravo, Mike, you, Victor. Come in, Victor, runway 07, wind variable 2 knots, clear takeoff. Clear takeoff, runway 07, go for you, Victor. Go for you, nearly ready to lift. Many struggle with radio telephony, even some pilots that have qualified. Some pilots are so afraid of using the radio and talking to a controller that they actively avoid it where possible, even if that means having to go the long way around controlled airspace. It's not surprising that it's difficult to learn. Opportunities are few and far between, except when you're in the cockpit with all the engine noise, the turbulence, and of course the task saturation as well. But now there's a solution, a modern way to learn radio telephony in the non-jeopardy environment of your home. Headcorn, radio, Golf Bravo, Mike, India Victor, one four miles to the west, inbound, request aerodrome information. I'm landing at Headcorn to meet two pilots that have produced Readability 5, a radio telephony training app. Golf India Victor, turning final runway one zero to left. Okay. Whether it's a controlled airspace transit you'd like to practice or a takeoff and landing at an aerodrome like Headcorn here with an air-to-ground communication service, Readability 5 can help. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Readability 5 has been developed by my friends, flight instructor Max Couch and class rating instructor Carl Higby. So, Max, how did you come about setting up Readability 5? Well, John, I've been a radio instructor and examiner for over 20 years, and I had a very frustrated student one day who said, there's nothing out there to help me learn all this radio gobbledygook. And it inspired me to sit down with a colleague of mine and build this website, and we have. What's the difficulty for pilots when it comes to learning radio telephony? The problem is a lot of people are simply not used to this strange way of speaking. It's alien to their normal conversation. If also you add to that the complexity of learning to fly an aeroplane, understand the instruments, it's another overload. So they tend to put it off toward the end of the training. With Readability 5, you can focus on learning the radio telephony phraseology outside of the cockpit environment. It's a web-based app and the controls are familiar. It has a radio, a transponder and a GPS moving map. 
So take me through Readability 5. How does it work? What are the exercises? Okay, so we've got seven modules at the moment, and the first module is the VFR Land Away. And it's basically a flight from A to B, and you go through the standard procedures of taking off in a controlled zone, flying to a destination, and then uh, doing radio telephony all the way along, uh, just as a basic practice. Now the actual voiceover and the, the dialogue is very clear and it's very sort of sim in simple terms as such. So it eases someone into using the application. As the modules progress, we do uh, circuit training, which is quite a gruelling um, sort of <laughs> practice for any, any PPL, budding PPL that wants to learn how to fly. We then move on to controlled airspace and then we've got uh, things like pan calls and maydays, emergency calls, relay calls. Uh, one that focuses on that, and then we've got the VFR land away um, abroad, so going abroad. So let's dive in and have a go. For a qualified pilot like me, this should be a breeze, right? I mean, I know how to fly. Mm -hmm. I know how to fly, I know how to do the I'm radio. Sure you do. <laughs> go to the course. Good morning, Marshmanston Tower. It's Golf Papa Alpha Sierra Sierra request radio jack. Golf Papa Alpha Sierra Sierra, good morning. Norwegian Flies, pass your message. Golf at Papa Alpha Sierra Sierra is uh, uh, PA28 uh, next to the uh, cafe. Request uh, taxi VFR flight to Lis 1 POB. Student Golf Papa Alpha Sierra Sierra, Marshmanston Tower. Taxi holding point Alpha for runway 24, QNH1016 and Squawk 71. No. See, I need a bit of paper now. That was too much. <laughs> That was way too much information. Well, the good news is, <laughs> on the, uh, the bottom of here, if you're prepared for it, you can click the knee board yeah. and you can actually type in oh, you can any type information. In. If you don't have a pen ah. and paper. Uh, how do I get him to say again? You can uh, read, read back on this. So okay, that's one, yeah. Use the navigation pane. Student Golf Papa Alpha Sierra Sierra, Marshmanston Tower. Taxi holding point Alpha for runway 24. QNH1016 and Squawk 7155. I'm feeling all nervous because it's quite real. It, is. It, it, it does feel like it's real and I've got this stress in me now because I'm not prepared. I haven't got my plog in front of me and I don't feel right. Okay, here we go, sorry. Golf Sierra Sierra Taxi Holding Point Alpha Runway 24 QNH1016 Squawk 7155. I was impressed by how real this all felt. I've not seen a radio telephony training aid like it. I think that it's fully immersive and it's real time. So you get the benefit of uh, practicing radio speak as if you're in the cockpit, but without any of the dangers of flying a real aircraft. My thanks to Max and Carl for developing Readability 5. A product like this is long overdue. With a surface wind of 230 oh. at 10 knots, Golf Sierra Sierra is cleared for takeoff. A right hand turn. Oh, God, my pen's gone. Two, four. <laughs> my, my, my pen's run out of ink. I mean, this is just the worst flight anywhere. I'll get you another one. <laughs> Stand by, Marsh Manston. Got a pen emergency. Before I go, a quick reminder that we're running a drawing competition for young aviators. If you're aged between 10 and 16, send us your best aviation-inspired drawing by the 24th of February. We'll choose the best two drawings and the winners will receive a 30-minute trial flight in a Robin HR200 at Earl's Cone. To enter and for terms and conditions, visit the Anglian Flight Centre's website. That's all for now. Fly safely, my friends.